Well, you can see that Maestro has made his way to front and center stage, but that's okay. Welcome to Ai Tai Chi for Life. Today's lesson is going to be on a form called open and close. Normally I like to scare my students a little bit and tell them that I'm going to teach them a very complicated form, and so pay attention. Here we are. Just watch. Watch me. And that's open and close. So as you can see, it's actually a very simple form. But like all Tai Chi, there are many layers to every form. And the more you learn, the more you do learn, and there's to learn in Tai Chi. So open and close serves as a bridge between forms in some of the form sets that we are learning. And it also is a wonderful standalone form that you can use in many situations throughout your life. So let's try it together, shall we? So you're in your Tai Chi stance, shoulder width apart, and just hold a ball, and that ball is about the size of your head. So be sure not to be holding a very large ball, but rather a ball about the size of your head. Now what do we do with our fingers and our hands? I see lots of variations in my students. So here's a simple way to figure that out. So let's put our hands together like we're praying. So prayer hands. And just think about energy growing between your hands so much so that they want to spring apart. So it's an effortless springing apart. Here we go, and poof. Just like that. And how your hands are when you bring your hands apart like that, or how your hands should be throughout open and close. Sort of a relaxed hand posture. In other words, we don't want to be grabbing hold of that ball with a death grip. It's a gentle caressing and holding that ball with very light energy in our hands. Let's just try it one more time. So prayer hands. Just spring your hands apart and let them relax. Boom. There we go. So now, you simply pull your hands apart a few inches, and then you reverse it and push them together. Now you might notice it looks like there's energy there, so I'm imagining a gentle resistance like, like an accordion, like playing an accordion. So pull that apart, and then it reverses, and now I'm going to push those hands together. Or you can think of pulling taffy and squeezing a ball, or maybe a magnet that is causing your hands a little bit hard to pull apart and that magnet reverses. And then it's harder to push them together. So there's not a lot of tension, it's just this imagined resistance. Now, hopefully you looked at my principles, the Tai Chi principle lessons. And principle number five was Dantian breathing. And so now we're going to add the Dantian breath to open and close. So here we are. So as you pull apart and you expand your ball that you're holding onto, you expand and breathe in down at your Dantian. So breathing in and then breathing out. Squeeze that pelvic floor as you breathe out. Let's do two more. In and out. One more. In. And. Out. And then we'll just do our closing form. So that form, open and close, is a complete form in its Sun style Tai Chi. But it's so wonderful because you can use it in so many situations. Um, if you're at a red light and you've had a stressful commute, you can do a few open and closes while you're waiting for that light to change. But don't try it while driving. That wouldn't be a good idea. Or for perhaps when you're in a um, situation that's stressful or a uh, confrontational situation with someone. I don't know about you, but I just absolutely hate confrontation. And so internally, I'm opening and closing, breathing in and breathing out. I'm not even doing the hands, but I'm just preparing myself or getting through that, that moment by just simply doing an open-close mentally. And sometimes at night when I can't sleep well, 
all I have to do is just start thinking of doing open and close. About three open closes in and I'm sleeping like a, like a baby. So practice your open and close, a few of them throughout the day. Remember to expand as you breathe in, squeeze that pelvic floor as you breathe out. Thank you for joining I Tai Chi for Life for this lesson of opening clothes. I'll see you next time.